having a bit of dig overseas to Floyd Mayweather that this is no joke. Which one does he want? The walking stick or the gloves? Yeah! Come have a real fight. Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. So Bob Arum is continuing to go in on Manny Pacquiao after he lost to Jeff Horn over the weekend. Bob Arum just ripped Manny Pacquiao, Freddie Roach. He said they dropped the ball. You know, his corner was in disarray during the fight. I'm going to read off a quote from Bob Arum. What the hell is wrong with that corner? Why wasn't Freddie Roach out in the ring between rounds yelling at the referee? It's his job, and there's confusion in the corner with the languages, with Bubba Boy and Miguel Diaz yelling and screaming like a maniac. Bob Arum's statement. And if you recall in the fight, they were screaming and yelling. They seemed like they didn't know what to do. Um, you know, again, I, I had the fight 8-4. to four. I had Pacquiao winning this fight, and I'm not even a big fan of Pacquiao. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Bob Arum is kind of like tossing Pacquiao to the side, it seems. You know, he's basically saying that Pacquiao has two options. Well, really, one, he, he's, he's, he's planning on <clears throat> the possibility of Manny Pacquiao retiring. And here's another statement from Bob Arum. I'm going to talk to Manny about maybe calling it a day. Maybe this is it. It depends what I see when I analyze the fight again. So Bob Arum has given up on his former cash cow, Manny Pacquiao. Um, let's see here. Damn, he's saying he had... He's just he's basically calling Manny Pacquiao a hype job right now. He's saying that he... Damn, he's saying he's not as good as he was a year ago. Uh, he said this isn't the same Pacquiao. So he's basically ready to just give up on Manny Pacquiao and move on to somebody else. Just like Manny Pacquiao said, that he was looking to find another cash cow in place of Manny Pacquiao. Now, I said it before, man. I'm not sure why he re-signed with Bob Arum. You know, I recall at some point he signed some sort of extension with Bob Arum. I think this was around the time he fought Bradley. I remember he lost to Bradley in the first fight. I had Pacquiao beating Bradley in the first fight and shit, man. So, I don't know. I Honestly, I think Bob Arum is on some bullshit. I think Bob Arum is just trying to fuck Pacquiao over because, you know, he Pacquiao can't fight on HBO pay-per-view no more. Um... You know, Pacquiao's not as big of a draw as it used to be. I mean, of course he draws on, on ESPN, dog. Damn near everybody got ESPN. So, of course he was going to do big numbers with ESPN. Um, Jeff Warren is, I can't even say relatively unknown. Motherfuckers don't know, didn't know who the fuck Jeff Warren was before this fight. And nobody was looking forward to the fight. We all knew or we all thought that Pacquiao was going to knock Jeff Warren out. I... I I thought he was going to knock him out. I thought that was going to be easy work for Pacquiao, and it proved to be otherwise. It's, you know, it's you, you can't deny the fact that Pacquiao and his team probably did not prepare for this fight like they should have. They thought this was going to be an easy fight, and, you know, from the first round on, I knew this shit was going to be a tough night. It was a close fight. I mean, it was a really close fight. Jeff Warren fought dirty as fuck. Uh... You know, he had no respect for Pacquiao. He was roughing his ass up. And, you know, the judges went with that narrative and they decided to give Jeff Horn the decision. And, you know, that shit was wrong. That shit was fucked up. Um, Manny Pacquiao approached the WBO regarding conducting an investigation, you know, about this particular fight. And WBO is not interested in conducting any investigation. It seems as if everybody's turning their backs on Manny Pacquiao. And you know what? I don't understand how, and look, I'm not the biggest Manny Pacquiao supporter at all, um, but I had to call it like I see it. I, I had Pacquiao winning the fight, and there's a lot of channels out there that are saying that Manny Pacquiao lost the fucking fight. I don't, I don't see that shit at all, man. So I don't know. I don't know what Pacquiao's gonna do, but I mean, he got a rematch clause. They're required to look into having a rematch in Brisbane again. Uh, I know Manny Pacquiao wants to have him in the Philippines. I'm sure Jeff Horn is not going to want to go to the Philippines for that fight. You know, as far as the second fight is concerned, I mean, I don't know. If Pacquiao takes this shit serious, you know, he should be able to beat Jeff Horn. But if if he come in there like he did the first fight, like, dog, you were supposed to knock Jeff Horn out in the ninth round. Jeff Horn should have been out of there. I don't see how Jeff Horn was able to take the motherfucking punches. Because I've seen Jeff Horn get knocked down before. He might have been on some shit. Jeff Foreman might have been taking some fucking steroids. He might have. You never know. But Pacquiao won. Pacquiao lost. 
And, you know, there's there's so much, I mean, there's so much up in the air right now. Nobody knows if he's going to exercise that rematch clause. Nobody knows if he is going to retire. But, I mean, at this point, I, I ain't going to be upset if he retires. Shit, I want to see Jeff Horn get his ass beat by, you know, one of these PBC fighters, even though that shit probably will never happen. Bob, I'm a bitch-ass dude, man. He a hoe-ass motherfucker, man. I'm telling you. He fucked, he fucked Manny Pacquiao over. He'll fuck Terrence Crawford over, too. Don't forget that shit. Don't forget that Terrence Crawford is promoted by um, Bob Arum as well. And what he did to Pacquiao, he has no problem doing that shit to anybody else. Terrence Crawford, Vasil Lomachenko. I'm telling you, you can't trust that motherfucker, man. You know, I truly believe he'll fuck any one of his fighters over if he, if he sees fit. You know, I mean, but I mean, all in all, Pacquiao made, what, $10 million off this fight? You know, he probably stands to make $10 million or more in the next fight. So, really, I mean, this is this rematch won't be bad for his pockets. But if he's a shot fighter, man, he might get knocked out in the second round. And I don't know where Pacquiao is mentally. Well, I know where he is mentally. He's not, he's not really all there. And physically, I mean, he looked gassed during the fight, man. You know, the head buzz didn't help and shit. But this shit, it was a crazy-ass fight, dude. So... Bob Arum is talking mad shit, saying that that decision was perfectly all right for him. You know, Pacquiao talking about <laughs> he didn't he didn't know too much about the ref. Like, how are you picking the refs, dog? You not you not vetoing shit? Like, you should have known the ref. You talking about he didn't have a lot of he didn't have a lot of experience. Why the fuck you ain't picked Tony Weeks or fucking um what's the other dude who be refing Pat all uh, Mayweather's fights? The black dude. I can't think his name right now. But there's a bunch of refs that you could have picked. I don't know why you didn't know who that referee was, but it is what it is, man. Pacquiao lost, and, you know, you got to keep it moving, dog. Hit man boxing, drop a comment, I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities, but I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream, and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib, I found on Craigslist, staring out in space. Space, scheming what my next move is I'm thinking that it's time to move west No idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best Not exactly where I thought I'd be Honestly, a 9 to 5 never was in my dreams I've been feeling all alone lately Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby When I came up out the womb Everybody knew It was something special about me that fills the room I never understood it But my OG told me it's a blessing I should use it to the fullest and that's what I've been trying to do But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless worlds I wanna be free from the I had a suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin is playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless worlds I wanna be free from this army of clouds